With cryptocurrencies capturing the attention of investors from Wall Street to Main Street this year, here's what to watch for as they go more mainstream in 2018. First, for investors, that means more options to invest in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Expect a boom in everything from exchanges to new trading platforms that will make it easier for the everyday investor to get exposure to cryptocurrencies without actually owning the underlying coin. Second, expect Bitcoin's rise to be challenged by alternative coins. Bitcoin's rapid rise has given birth to over 1,300 digital currencies. As Bitcoin gets more expensive, traders look to its competitors for opportunity. Watch Ethereum, Ripple and Litecoin, which live on blockchain but offer different functionality than Bitcoin. And third, get ready for more regulation. The SEC has a newly minted cyber unit that has been tasked with finding bad actors that are using digital currencies for money laundering and funding terrorist activities. That means more enforcement actions in the coming year. Regulation could ultimately add more credibility to the space and perhaps even pave the way for Bitcoin exchange traded funds to be approved. Bitcoin's value has plunged 13.5% after South Korean officials said they're planning to ban cryptocurrency trading. There are great concerns regarding virtual currencies and the Justice Ministry is basically preparing a bill to ban cryptocurrency trading through exchanges. Now, the fall in Bitcoin means it's dropped to its lowest level since the new year. The highest value so far this year was reached on the 7th of January when it hit $17,000. We spoke to economics professor at Kingston University, Steve Keane. He thinks Bitcoin was only created for speculators. It's perfectly designed for speculation. It's very, very badly designed for money. Now, once people can see the speculation can lead to down as well as up, then all that's left is its use as a form of money, and I don't believe it has that capability. So I think the, the downside is a damn sight larger than the upside. The actual concept of having a, 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 an algorithm replacing having a trusted third party for transactions can work if the transactions can occur at the speed we need, which is something of the order of, you know, 100,000 or more transactions per second. So I know there are some cryptocurrencies that are working in that direction. There are even blockchain technologies that don't use a cryptocurrency. They use existing currencies that enable you to make the transactions through the algorithm rather than through a banking system. So one of those more than one more likely is going to survive, but I don't think Bitcoin is going to be the one that does.